Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Because that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Land con, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the Yo. Yo. Welcome to another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shoot X. And if you ain't been to the website underneath me down here, you should check it out. Got some trinkets, got some things, some notebooks and stuff like that. The slideshow next to my face, well, this way, yeah, this way. Those are actual products on the website, so y'all should check it out. If you're fucking with the notebooks, they're created by 1111. Please, please check them out. Show some support. You can go to the link, and it'll take you to her link tree on my website. And yeah, tell her that you're fucking with the products, because she gonna love it. Uh-oh. Again, Facebook messages. Also, all the jewelry in the slideshow is 50% off on tefnetarchive.com. Tefnet is my sister. I'm Shu X. Hey, uh, Lord Shu X. I'm sorry. First name, Lord, middle name, Shu. Last name, there is no last name. I just threw an X because I ain't. Y'all, I missed y'all. I haven't done any lives, any streams since. I think the <laughs> Friday maybe I was in Atlanta and the stream that I did when I was up there ended up not getting it didn't I don't know what happened to it just disappeared into thin air but the episode was called am I really gonna do this <laughs> and basically I was in Atlanta I was going to uh, follow up on a gig get to the gig spiritual things start happening and basically I, I listened to my intuitive impressions and I just kept walking and now I'm here but that's old news today's a noon a new day moon day uh, I guess the topic today is microdosing and update on my spiritual awakening which is recently be going through since Friday I've been going through a uh, spiritual awakening since Friday so I'm gonna just give y'all a little lowdown on, on what's going on with that and of course, microdosing, which is, I'm currently uh, microdosing psilocybin, as in I'm on psilocybin right now, and everything looks amazing. And I'm trying to heal myself, so this is me being as open. I'm opening my heart to y'all so that we can get on an intimate level today. And maybe I might cry on this stream. That's the goal. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, um, I'm already seeing chasers now too, man. Damn. Yeah, let's get that. This shit is kicking in. Let's get it. I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based in Georgia. Um, pretty much been studying occultism since I was a baby. I've been studying the ancient knowledge and wisdom since I was a baby. And now that it has brought me to a place of remembrance of my actual past lives, today I am going to express some of these impressions that I've been having through this spiritual awakening that has brought me to a state of death, <laughs> which 
I know it probably sounds bad to people who don't have the same concept as death as I do, but we'll get to that in due time. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to hold myself together because these shrooms got me kind of tripped out a little bit. So, microdosing. Um, I don't know if y'all heard, but in California, they made psychedelics legal. Or at least I'm not sure if they made all psychedelics legal, but psilocybin mushrooms are legal. So I kind of just wanted to touch base on that a little bit. Uh, if anybody watching this has ever taken shrooms before, kudos to you. It's a very healing experience. And I recommend everyone who uh, wants to find out more things about themselves in this day and age and lifetime, I recommend that they do shrooms. Uh, my advice, grind them up in a coffee grinder and make a tea with them and add ginger to the tea because the come up on shrooms is the worst. Like, the taste is fucking disgusting. And they make your stomach feel really shitty. At first, it goes away. But yeah. So that's just all I'm going to say on microdosing because the more I talk about it, the more I'm going to think about the fact that I'm on shrooms and the more I'm going to be more tripped out on this fucking stream. So we just going to keep it funky and we'll move on from that shit. So, moon day. Uh, okay, so I'm trying, I'm, I swear when I do these streams, y'all, that I be trying to keep this shit on a super, like... Like hobby, like I say, the hairs on the skin. I don't want to go deeper than that. I really don't want to go any deeper than that. Because I start going too deep and shit just not going to make sense. Especially without the, the context to back it up. So I'm going to keep this shit on the surf, super surface level. So. Yesterday, well starting Friday. I had the beginning of my spiritual awakening. And I pretty much about passed out in a random park in Buckhead because I was just so uh, overwhelmed by the presence of spirit and overwhelmed by my ego and overwhelmed by my emotions, just everything. I was, it was basically, my system's been shocked for like days now. Sleep has been next to impossible. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I've been getting sleep, but not as much sleep as I should. At least to my ego, I feel like I'm not getting enough sleep. But I seem to be fully functional. I feel really fucking hyper. So it's not like I'm I'm lacking in departments where I guess when you get sleep, these things are supposed to be in a better place. I know the only difference is I do feel that like kind of grogginess just kind of sitting in the background over me. But even through that random shit, I've been feeling so out of touch with reality right now so I've been studying the mathematical properties of the universe to get an understanding of feminine energy on a logical scale because I'm a male but I would like to consider myself a man woman or a woman man we'll just say man woman for now because I mean, I have a dick, so there's, there's nothing I can do about it. But we'll just say that. So just been like trying to find my understanding of the divine feminine energy using logic, which is probably the worst thing to do, but it's a start. You know what I'm saying? I got to have my start. And by divine feminine principle, I just mean... Um, liberated feminine energy that isn't controlled that's completely chaotic or uh, starts out chaotic but then finds its own balance instead of just forcing things on it telling you know basically what's happening now which is why our earth is doing the things that it's doing and the energies of the sun is, you know they cooperating together the sun and the earth working together on a cosmic scale to basically do what they're doing to each other to me. <laughs> basically fucking making me realize things about masculine energy that needs to be healed. And 
don't get me wrong, feminine energy also needs to be healed as well because it's a balance. If one is out of balance, that means both of them are out of balance. One could have too much of one or the other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll say feminine energy is probably the least out of balance, but there's some imbalances as well that has the masculine energy feeling also imbalanced because masculines do things for feminine energy. So it's not like uh, the world doesn't completely belong to women because it does. Like, everything that men do that... Well, we'll just say the general population of men because there are men who are completely on their purpose, who are focused to the point where they would rather manipulate sexual energy instead of manipulating divine energy, which I feel like that's kind of cool. But to me, all these energies are titles. You know what I'm saying? Like pure energy or that white light, that that in between, that 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 path that people seem to just miss out on that energy is like infinite and it's always in a state of balance because it's always working towards that state of balance and achieving that state of balance at the same time because past present future all the same thing so linear time just exists because our perception of it, which everybody knows this and if you don't holla at your boy in the chat let me know and i'll break this down a little bit more basic but other than that we just experience linear time because we're humans on this planet and you know that's just how, that's just how, what it is and we in a uh, third dimension our thinking may be fifth six seven eight nine tenth eleven or twelfth dimensional but we exist in the three and the four to an extent certain individuals already exist in the four which is that awareness of the fifth element which I'm not gonna go into too deep into that. Oh shit, hold on. I'm not gonna go too deep into that. So, basically, as I'm going through this mathematical process, I start realizing like things about myself and then, you know, just living seems to be a little, little weird. <laughs> it starts getting weird. I started feeling like uh, I started feeling like a number, but then I realized that we're all numbers. You know what I'm saying? Just numbers and Taurus fields, and I'm just getting like lost in that. <laughs> as far as the scientific concept, but then I just look at my girl and I'm like, she don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, damn, like she just absorbing this shit, and I'm like running in circle, you know like the episode of spongebob when them niggas was like throwing like the files in spongebob's brain like burning them like the all the file cabinets is on fire and shit like that's literally what's happening fucking in my head right now it's like i have all this information that's stored in my dna which i've unlocked and i've been chanting you know channeling it unlocking it meditating it and or meditating with it and just tapping into different pieces of it throughout times in my life since like i said like i was a baby i've always been interested in the unknown the unseen occultism always been pretty much in contact with spirits of all types from vampires to ghosts to succubus incubus the whole nine i've, I've been in touch with every spirit you can think of since day one since my inception in this in this creation this this current one so normally i'm i'm all i'm like i would consider myself sort of like a philosopher i don't like to take concepts that are already here and taking them and claiming them as my own but I like to take concepts that are really occult, like really, like it takes someone with an adept mind to these type of things to understand them truly in their full form. So I like to take those deep ass concepts and make them simple, which that's always been the reason why I've been into theology and occultism and 
spirituality and uh, religion, just the whole everything, the whole shit, life. Just I've been interested in life and the building blocks of life. Now, I just see how easily it is to just love. But for some reason, I'm having a hard time grasping the concept of love. So y'all, I done went as far as to understand love on a mathematical and scientific level. Isn't that sad? <laughs> I mean, it could be a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Because technically, I think this is what geniuses do, but I don't like titles, you know what I'm saying? Titles are just something that the ego smiles when, when certain things are said. And honestly, I, I don't like to call myself anything. I'll call myself a polymath because I know many things about many different subjects. And I've studied them long enough to know that, hey, I could consider myself pretty adept in this knowledge. But wisdom in all of it, I wouldn't say that. I'll say I got wisdom in a few things, but wisdom in all the things that I know, I'm working towards that, which is why I've been having this spiritual awakening because in the beginning, these were things that I used to chase. And I don't know if any of y'all have watched my live's previous streams, but that's that's basically been like, that's basically been like the summary, well, not the summary, but like the, I don't even know the word, man. <laughs> it's been like, the setting of the summer this year is tapping into that and understanding that unconditional love from the most simplest spectrum of just being that love, you know what I'm saying? Emulating that love. And for some reason, I can't seem, I can, it's just right now I'm learning how to. I'm learning how to do these things. I'm learning how to be more intimate. But I ain't gonna lie, it's hard. It's hard uh, seeing people every day just like, damn, this nigga Lord, he really like, he's so hardcore and I don't really know why because there's things inside of him I know that he's, his heart is humongous. I wanna see that, I wanna see him express that. And honestly, I do too. I wanna express it so bad because I know once I do express it, that's that's when the world would change around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's when I know for a fact the world around me is gonna express it back. It's just those few times I did express it and I didn't get the type of reaction that my ego wanted. And so now, like a little bitch, I done crawled up into a hermit crab shell and I'm just too scared to express properly. You know what I'm saying? And now, that I'm working towards finding that that true expression of unconditional love within myself, towards myself, so that I can express it properly towards others. I've just been feeling really out of whack, man. I've been feeling like crazy a little bit. I've been feeling like, like nothing matters and everything matters at the same time. And I'm all about extremes. I can never just be in the middle. So finding that middle point, I'm almost there. I just have to keep pushing until I get that click. That click, I'm just waiting on that click to come. And I'm, I'm not forcing nothing. I'm just surrendering to the process because that's the, that's the real goal, the fact that I'm surrendering to this process. And that I'm doing this so that more men and more logic-based individuals because you can be a woman and be in masculine energy more than a man can. I've seen it before. But this is for people who who are in that masculine energy a lot and feel like they can't express that energy because we have all these things around us like a fucking, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Red pill logic can be good, but it can also be detrimental because even a red pill will tell you they wish they never had red pill knowledge. And for people who don't know what red pill is, um, there's this trend on the internet with men. And there's even there's even a trend like this for women. They have like red pill women too. 
But basically, basically these are the alpha males or the alpha women of, we'll just say the collective of humans and primordials. But there's alpha males and alpha women. And people, I'm sure y'all have heard about alpha males, but I'll give you a little baby breakdown. You have like lions and there's a, a lead lion that everybody listen to. This is like the main lion, like he's the, the chief of the fucking shit. He got all the little lionesses around him. He get them all pregnant. He he don't have to do shit but lay on his ass all day because all the beta lions, they're like, oh yeah, we gonna go out and go hunting. As long as the alpha male says it's cool and for us to leave the, the camp or whatever. So basically just like the leader of, of the group. But alpha male would equate himself to someone who uh, follows the beat of his own drum, doesn't let anything distract him, completely 100% aligned with his higher self, and uh, basically just following a code of ethics that requires him to not chase women. And it's becoming more of a toxic, a toxic masculine um, trend. I would, from my opinion, I wouldn't say that this is what it is. I'll just say from my opinion, I think it's kind of toxic because Men should be able to express themselves any way that they want. I can get it if a man by himself, who is an alpha male, expresses those feminine traits to himself. But I also realize that men become intimate with other men who are alpha males or they're just completely alone. To me, real alpha males don't really fuck with nobody except themselves. You know, there's these alpha males who try to have like a clique or whatever, like, me and my homeboys doing like, nah, bro. Unless your homeboys is all alpha males, which I'm not gonna say there's that many alpha males in the world because the fact that it's a trend amongst men to become alpha males lets you know that there isn't very many alpha males. So, and alpha women as well. This is becoming a new trend. Most people aspire to be a leader, but there's a reason why there's leaders and followers. So, just seeing this trend, it just almost makes me laugh because I watched a video actually just to see what one of these alpha male guys was talking about. And the video was called, uh, Why I Wish, or How uh, Alpha Male Logic Can Be Detrimental Type. That, it's kind of some around that, you know? And basically the guy was saying, if I didn't have alpha male, if I didn't follow this lifestyle, I would still believe in love. And I'm just like, damn. I mean, one cannot follow their purpose and still believe in love. One cannot be aligned with the feminine energy. Like if, okay, so in my mathematical pursuits with finding out love and how love even sounds and even looks like, on a, on a scientific scale, not even actual through humans, through people, like on a mathematical scale and a visual scale, I've heard love and I've seen love, but I've never actually felt like felt it on a, on a level where it made sense to me because when you in that mindset where like you just like don't have faith in it anymore, you begin to put up barriers and block yourself away from that love. And then it just kind of fades away and then it becomes like this taboo thing to yourself, which is crazy because you were literally created by that. Like the energy that keeps you alive and breathing is literally unconditional love. But I'm not, like I said, I'm gonna keep this surface level. I already done went too deep a couple times. So I'm gonna keep this shit surface level. Now, anybody who would like to follow me on social media to get an understanding of some of the things I'm talking about today, you can follow me on my Facebook page. Um, you can just like my Facebook page. I'm not going to use the word follow because I'm not a leader yet. There's things in me that I feel that like I can work on to become the leader that people want to see me become. I know y'all that come on here and be like, well, what are you talking about? You did this, you did that. Listen, man, <laughs> just like I had to tell my girl today, man, I'm dead right now. 
I'm going through a rebirth process. I'm transforming myself. I ain't even got, look, normally y'all see me on here, I had the cloak on. I'm naked, bro. I'm naked. I'm not even myself right now. Like, I'm, I'm just going with the flow and I'm surrendering to this process. So being naked, if that's what it means, if I had to unshield myself and be vulnerable, then so be it. But as long as I gain something from this, that's cool. I'm trying to gain a, a higher perspective of myself so that I can help others gain that same higher perspective because I don't do shit just to be selfish and hold on to secrets. Like I'm getting on here potentially saying things that could get me in trouble, but who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like this is life. This is, this is why we have platforms like this so that we can spread this knowledge to people who take the time out of their own life to get this information. But back to what I was saying, as I was going through understanding love on a mathematic scale, I realized that everything always leads back to the same thing, that the energies that they equate to being he and him and God and all this is really goddess, she, woman, like curved energy, curved, like even the sound, the wave, like wave it like the words even the word choice you know what i'm saying like basic the basic shit that it just kind of goes over your head you know what i'm saying it just it just started to dawn on me and this was before the shrooms like it just started to dawn on me really hard like damn i'm only aligning with a piece of myself I'm not really truly aligning with my full self because yeah, my higher self might be a male, but that's only just one part of me. You know, I'm a masculine and a feminine energy wrapped in one. And for me to completely ignore that other side is for me to just basically be like, no, this is me letting my ego take the reins and my own ascension and my own self liberation. And I started realizing that shit like over the past few days, just studying. Like, I'm y'all, I'm talking. About, I'm going so deep into studying, bro. I start like, I start breaking down like mentally. Just start like. So people take DMT, right? And I got into studying DMT, which is basically the God particle and plant essence. And for people who know about astrology and NASA and some of the shit they talk about, then you know about the Higgs Boston. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put it in the chat. This is as deep as I'm going today. All right, so the God particle this is the scientific name for it. But studying the Philosopher's Stone and how to create it myself, I probably shouldn't say this, but basically there is a process in that involving the God particle, which basically shows how one can transmute metals into gold. But this exact same process and the Higgs boson and the God particle is literally unconditional love is how they use how they're doing it. They're turning iron into gold using the vibration of the fucking planet. Now that's as far as I'm gonna go into it. So they're using feminine energy to transmute base metals into a metal that represents the sun, which the sun is like everything on this realm. Now, I'm, I'm sitting through this and I'm just like, damn, this is only just a piece of me that I'm only focusing on. I need to focus on my feminine energy and really tap in because Right now, the Christ unions are taking place. And 
I'd be damned if I went through all my whole life looking for, well, I never looked for my significant other. I always went with the flow because I always knew that when in divine timing, the person that you're supposed to be with will be will be there. There'll be that person. They'll, they'll just be there. And when you align with the energy of that, it'll be like, oh shit, hey, what's up? You've been here all along, right? So being in, in that mode, in that mental state, I've been in that mental state since Saturday, having that realization. And I'm just like, fuck. Then all the feelings come. In. And then I'm just like, I gotta let this I gotta let this version of me go today. I have to let it go today. But then little pieces be like, hey. Little pieces be popping up, trying to trying to make me stay like this. Trying to stay like have blood soul and when I know who I am. And I remember who I am. So it's been rough, y'all. Like this this is the update as far as like where I'm at in it myself. And I try not to cast anything or any type of ill will towards people I love right now. Cause man, I could, I really could just because of how much pain that I'm going through right now. But to do that would be to use them as a scapegoat because it's my own fault for me not growing and being myself and not holding back. You know what I'm saying? I did this to myself. This is self-inflicted. So why try to cast that shit on other people? You know what I'm saying? I try to help them gain an understanding of what I'm speaking about, if anything, so that they know how to approach me. Because I know it might seem like I need someone to talk to about these this type of pain that I'm feeling, but it's not that I need to talk to anyone. It's just... It's just something that I have to just go through. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's really it. It's just something that I just have to go through. Let it pass. Like, that's all you can do. But you just can't let it take over. So, going through this shit been kind of crazy. Just micro-dosing to, to gain a, a more of an understanding with myself. And as I'm, like, micro-dosing through this shit, it's just making me realize more things about me. Which is good. That's what I want. That's what I want to happen. I don't want to be hiding shit from myself right now because I'm on the edge of my greatest breakthrough and my personal growth. And I'm seeing it every day. The more more things I let go and the more concepts that I have in my mind that were implanted throughout being alive on this planet, slowly melting away and becoming just old ideas, you know. Cause that's all thoughts are just ideas and you can choose which ones that you fuck with like oh i remember having that idea i'm gonna keep that in the in the forefront hey i might do another stream tonight at 10 y'all we gonna see what's good i see how i'm feeling because i'm about to take more of these shrooms and i'm gonna holler at my nigga and see what's good with that shit because my boy uh jay boogie trying to get on here and do a just chatting session but i might get on Nah, I'm probably just gonna do just chat. Unless he get on the game, which either way, it give us time to set it up. It might be even later, to be real with you. But I know for a fact, this one I'm putting on YouTube. It just depends. So we'll see what happens. But for right now, it's the guy, Lord Shoot X. Lord being my first name, X being just X. <laughs> And you are watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. If you haven't visited my website, shoelovesrebels.com, go to that shit, man. I got notebooks. I got jewelry on there made by some awesome fucking people that I love truly and dearly from the bottom of my crusty ass heart. Also, all the jewelry is 50% off on the website. These mushrooms is kicking my ass right now, and I only took a little bit, so we're going to see how shit go, man. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm catching all the feels now. The room's starting to breathe and shit, so we're going to keep it funky. But yeah, visit the website. Y'all can find me on social media, Instagram and Facebook at Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. 
for both of them. Instagram and Facebook. I'm on Twitter as well. You can find my Twitter on my website because I'm not going to butcher this man's name. But it's my brother's Twitter. But he's basically on the same wavelength as I am. He just don't know it yet. So rock with my boy. My nigga Nimbus. Nigga Fire's ass producer. Y'all should check out his music too. And that's my shameless plug. <laughs> so we're going to get back into what we was talking about. How everybody doing, man? I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I know everybody was shooting up the block yesterday. Just getting on my fucking nerves. I was trying to capture some pictures of the shit. And all these people with these weak ass fireworks. I don't know where the fuck they was at. They weren't on my block though. I ain't see no kind of fireworks, man. I seen it like little bits and pieces. But I'm just like, bro, what is the point of this holiday? I thought I thought it was supposed to be some cool, exciting explosions, fires, niggas dying, you know what I'm saying? Some cool looking shit. But then I took a picture of the sky during this shit, bro. It was so much smoke in the sky. Like, I'm surprised niggas ain't dying. It was so much smoke that when my ca when my camera captured this shit, bro, it was just like gray. The picture was just straight gray. And it's dark outside, so you can't see the smoke. And it just got me to thinking like, damn, I feel bad for the birds. I know this ain't no bugs biting me outside no more. Like, them niggas is probably gone. Like, just, just shit. Just little shit I be noticing, man. You know what I'm saying? This ain't gonna be an observations of Lord Shoe X. That's tomorrow. But I just had to give y'all the update on my awakening right now because your boy is definitely awakening to a whole new energy within myself that I thought I had already tapped into. Just let's just goes to show you how ego works. You gotta let that motherfucker die because you can know everything in the world, man, and still not know shit. I don't know shit. <laughs> I'm like I told my girl, I've been studying 30 years for something that you innately do without having to study. Like, I just feel sorry as fuck right now, and not sorry like I suck, but sorry like damn. I apologize to every woman in the world right now because I had to stand up and be a real man and show these niggas how to how to lead properly and how to <laughs> how to tap into that energy of unconditional love because that's the last thing that people are doing, especially men right now. Cause a whole lot of fear keeping people from uniting with their loves and uniting with the love within themselves and the love with outside of themselves. So, like I said, a hundred times in all my streams, I'm never going to give up on y'all, no matter what. My growth is the growth. When I grow, we grow together. And whenever I get some new shit going on with me, I'm definitely going to spread the information because I get it, man. There's some people that be on, on fucking social media and they be like capping out their ass like, hold on, let me see if I can imitate these niggas. Hello everyone, I am the chosen one, and this is what you should do, everyone should eat, eat crackers and drink grape juice, and meditate for 22 hours, and as you do these meditations, you will become the chosen one. And you will become a god. I am a god. I am here to show you how to become a god. Before it's over, you will all worship me. <laughs> like, it's really niggas like this on social media. Like, they never went through a process. Like, they just was born. And then they was telling their mom and dad at one month old, Hey, we are all vegans now. Nigga, how is your voice that deep as a baby? We're all vegans now. Mother and father, please stop eating the beast of the world. Like, no, nigga. You, when you fucking, you came out of the vagina, nigga, you was like, where the chicken nuggets and the ketchup at? Matter of fact, you was crying, bro. Because you, you couldn't say shit. You couldn't do shit. You was crying for the milk. You was like, I'm hungry. But you couldn't say I'm hungry. So guess what the fuck you did? <laughs> Mommy That's what the fuck your ass was doing 
just like the rest of us at some point in our fucking fucking ascension. I don't know how these these guys get on fucking Instagram and Facebook and just be fucking doing that shit, bro. Like, I am I am shameless when it comes to this shit, bro. Every day I'm ascending. Every day I get on this motherfucker, y'all watching me ascending. Literally, I'm an ascendant master. I'm mastering the the, the journey. <laughs> That's probably why a lot of niggas be like, I'm an ascendant master. I have I have mastered this this I've mastered this lifetime and I've mastered time and space and yeah but what are you doing with it what you getting on here and you just basically talking but you're not you're not helping people bro with real experiences of your own you just telling people what to do talking to people like no I just give y'all experiences that I have I try not to go too super deep into them because I, I still want to be able to capture every... I want to be able to talk to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Some shit be too deep for niggas, man. Everybody ain't super deep like that, bro. And there's people who just now start in their journey. So I want to be able to speak to everyone and get the point across the best way that I can. So I appreciate y'all for understanding that when I get on these things, yeah, I might call myself the guy Lord Shoe Wakes and I might say that I'm a polymath based in Georgia. But at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm the same as you, man. Y'all have all this shit within y'all as well because if I exist and you exist and we're all the same, you know what I'm saying? These principles live within you already, just like they live within me. And I just discovered them a little bit faster. That's all. When, when like the used titles, but in, in this day and age, people want to know what you're doing, why you are here, what's your name. So I got to I gotta give y'all something. But pretty soon it's going to get to the point where I don't have to say that shit anymore because y'all already know me. Most of y'all do already know me who watch these videos. So shout out to y'all. Greatly appreciate that shit. In other news, the world has been getting very hot. At least in my hood, it has. <laughs> and this got people doing some crazy shit. In a spiritual way, I wouldn't say on no violent shit, but it's got people just like staring off into space type shit. Like more paranoid. You know how people be like, you seen that? And you'd be like, what you talking about, bro? I'm getting a lot more people doing shit like that because the veil is thinning right now. There's a particular time period. Also, there's a time period in linear time, which they say is 3 a.m., but I feel like the veil is pretty much thin. Anytime that there's that in-between period where uh, the, the in-between period where the sun and the moon are both like equilateral, like centered to each other both exist in the plane like holding hands like the shit is like this like this is the sun and the moon when they like this that's when the veil is the thinnest because you get in both energies unconscious so you get all three energies. you get all the energies so let's just let's just take the titles off of them. you get every energy at that same time because you're receiving lights from all from all the celestial bodies at the same time because all the celestial bodies that's above us and the ones that we can see that are the closest to us like the moon that we birthed from this, well the moon that's birthed from the planet we see that motherfucker and we see the sun at the same time and we also seeing the other planets for people who know where they're located in the sky so with all those energies are kicking in at the same time that's when you like, damn, I'm getting manhandled by the fucking Akasha record or whatever you whatever you tap in because every experience is for everybody's different. And for people who don't know what Akasha record is, it is the library of the planet Earth, which is stored in the DNA of every human being and primordial being on the planet. Everyone has the entire history of the planet stored within their DNA, which you can tap into 
This is possible. I've done it. Some scary shit in there. When you start getting to the halls of a minty, some scary shit in there. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Matter of fact, I'll tell you halls of a minty. And for for the curious people, if you if you on your occult shit like your boy Lord Shoe X, these things that I put in the chat will lead you on a journey that sometimes I wish I never went on. But I thank the most high, Lord Shoe X, for taking me on this journey. I've seen so much shit on this journey. If I told you, that's I, I can't wait to put out my private videos because if I told you the shit that I've seen and the shit that I've experienced, the real, the real shit, the reason I made this channel, Lord Perfected Work, the real shit, I can't do it on here because this this belongs to somebody else. You feel me? This is Twitch. This shit belongs to somebody else. But when I get Lord of Perfected Work, the real shit, when y'all buying these records. Because you know I got charged for it, bro. It's keeping you and me safe. When y'all get it real, and I put it together for you in a way, you're going to be like, fuck, man. Because every time I go through this process, this ascension process, I, I just literally just be like, fuck, man. This shit is a lot. This shit is too much. I need a moment. <laughs> And I'm not talking about like, oh man, I just suffered in the slums, had to eat cockroaches for dinner. Like, not, I ain't talking about no shit like that. I'm talking about esoteric wisdom taking place in your life. Like, understanding esoteric wisdom, and then it's starting to manifest because you aligning with their in, with those energies, and you start to understand, like I did today, that the woman. And her energy is literally the only reason that I don't see white fuzz every fucking day. <laughs> like, the reason I exist and I should be grateful, which I am, I'm definitely grateful. Hey, shout out to everybody watching this stream too, because this is a specialized stream. I normally don't microdose. I have never microdosed on a stream in my life. So this is the first time. So anybody watching this, you're literally seeing Lord Shoe X on stream. But the fact that I tapped in with that energy got me feeling some type of way, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. It's got me reevaluating my perspective on life completely. Like, it just makes me wanna take the person that I love and just grab their ass. But you know how shitty it is when you can't do that, bro? Just grab them and just do everything that you would consider unconditional love to <laughs> Until they're like, <laughs> and not and not just also selfish shit, bro. But like for real, just doing everything that you could possibly do, and just let it be what it is. No judgment, no, no destination, no desire. Just being lost in that romantic feeling of just being lost in each other's like energy, bro. Like, <laughs> I think these are shrooms talking out. <laughs> I don't know, cuz. I feel like this is some shit I would say if I was on the shrooms, but. Real shit, this is how I feel. Like, just being enmeshed into someone else's death. For the longest time, bro, I just felt like humans and, well, just people. People around me just didn't have death at all. And. Most of my major, most of the things that make me who I am are, are as far as like astrology goes, are based in scorpionic energy or the scorpion animal or I want to say this little in-between piece right here. This little shit right here is based in this energy. And this is a physical manifestation of scorpion energy. It's right here. Taking the knowledge, taking the action, turning it to wisdom and speaking it. This is this is after the equal sign. This is the truth. Right here. This is the scorpion is the truth. And 
it just it's like hard for me to just be like, oh yeah, uh yeah, we can fuck. I just met you at a bar. Let's go fuck real quick. Like, I'm not built like that, cause I seek a deep, deep, deep. Everything gotta be deep. The music gotta be deep. Bars gotta be deep. Fucking food gotta be deep. Everything gotta have a deeper meaning to it for me, man. In order for me to even fuck with it. That's why I fuck with the chick I fuck with now, bro. Cause she's deep. <laughs> She's deeper than the average, bro. And I'll be having hard times dealing with that. That'd be that whole shit. That'd be that fucking... What is the word for it, man? Uh, There's a word for it, bro. And I know this word. They use it in therapy, man. Yeah. Fuck. It's like when dudes be like... Insecure, that's the word, insecurity. It'd be the insecurities pop out. Because then I start to realize that there's like weak points <laughs> that I didn't cover up with like fake band-aids or concrete. Like I didn't cover them shits up and like the emotions started to like ooze out of them like little weak points. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Like, this whole shit, this past three years for me has been, like, a fucking shit show, bro. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it, is a fucking shit show. I've been having tower, towers drop back to back, man. And I can say this to y'all and not feel ashamed because, well, first, I'm on shrooms. And second, <laughs> and second, because... I don't want anyone else to feel how I felt in the beginning of this shit when people people always got opinions and sometimes that shit can make you feel some type of way because it be the people that you closest to that have the shittiest opinions and you be like bro really that's that's what you got to say to me like this is how you feel about me can't take it personal bro because they're not really there these are illusions, and if you're taking it personal, you're just talking shit to yourself and you believe in it. Same thing with those insecurities. I had to kill them shits because I was talking shit to myself and I was believing it. Like, this bitch don't know what she's talking about. The fuck? I should never say that, especially about somebody I actually give a fuck about. Like, this nigga really love me, bro. Really fucking love me, brother, for no reason. I'll be, I'm to this day, I'm looking at the invisible watch like, nigga, what time is it? Cause she on a whole, she on a whole different time, bro. And I'm just like out here still having desires. And I realized that shit today. And I'm laughing as I'm reading cause I'm like, damn, bro. Only reason I'm doing this is because I desire to have some kind of answer to my bullshit ass reality I didn't create. Still, I'm still looking. I said it on this song about Sirius, my comeback bitch. Shoes comeback. I say it on that song, bro. I don't want to know no more. I don't want to know any other. I don't want to. I, I wish I didn't know about Halls of Amenti and the God part. I wish I didn't know this shit. I wish my life was as simple as I love you. I, I That's what I said. Matter of fact, that's what I said to her. I was like, shit, life really can be as simple as that Barney song. I love you. You love me. We're one happy family. Like, it's so simple, bruh. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Like, bruh. <laughs> Barney had it figured out, man. My head ass, I used to really like Barney. That was like my favorite shit growing up. Barney and Sesame Street. But Barney was that shit. And all these years, I'm just like, oh man. I don't got it figured out. And then it just like dawned on me. Like Barney was telling me the secret. Like Barney had the answer. <laughs> Barney had the motherfucking answer, man. That's the best way to end off this stream. <laughs> God damn, Barney knew it and I couldn't figure it out. And he a dinosaur. Them niggas don't even exist no more, bro. We just gonna leave it on that note, man. These shrooms starting to whip my ass now, bro. I got 
I'm feeling lost in the sauce, bro. Like, I need to talk to my chick now, bro. <laughs> and she probably going to bed. Fuck it. I don't even care. I just, I just imagine I'm talking to her. It's getting to that point anyway. Shit. Because I might wake up one day and it was all a dream. <laughs> it was all a dream. Nah, but for real, though. <laughs> it was all a dream. Oh shit! Hey, this was a funny ass stream though, cause it's probably one of my better ones. Cause uh, the last one, the Tupac one I did, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I was sad as hell in that shit. I could, I could feel that compression, bro. That, that's like, right now I'm expanding, but right before I started that expanding, I was getting depressed. I started realizing a lot of shit about myself I ain't like, man. That the little kid in me was like, you're a bitch. I don't know if y'all ever seen, uh, damn, what's the name of that movie, bro? With Adam Sandler, bro, where he was a wedding singer. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, that's the, the title of the movie was literally this nigga's occupation. <laughs> you, I don't know if y'all ever seen that shit, but there's a scene where this little kid, like, he run up to, uh, because Robbie, the, all right, so the wedding singer, which that's who the movie's about, with Adam Sandler's character, his name was Robbie. So he had, like, the, uh, he live in his sister basement and like fucking his sister got kids and shit so the little kid one of the kids uh came up to the chick that robbie was supposed to marry but rock or he they went to they had like the ceremony and shit but the chick didn't never show up to the wedding she like left a letter and this nigga was like tripping bro this man was in his basement listening to the cure and shit like talking about soap like cleaning his soap with tide and shit <laughs> But yo, the little kid walk up to the chick. Her name was Linda, and she was and and the little kid was like, "Hey, Linda," and then she's like, "Yeah, what's up?" And he's like, "Yo, bitch," and he just run away. <laughs> That's how I be doing myself, cause, <laughs> hey, Lord, <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> I swear to God, that's how that shit be feeling like, bro. Like I'm just like doing myself so dirty right now, cause. The little kid in me is like, bro, you are the dopest nigga. You were, when I was a little kid, bro, I was the coolest motherfucking dude, bro. Everybody want to be my friend, bro. I had all the girls on me, bro. Like, it was cool. I got in middle school. I moved to Germany, bro, and I ain't been the same since, bro. I've been trying to find myself since that shit. Ever, but ever since I left Germany, I've been trying to find myself. Ever since I moved there, I've been trying to find my real self. But it was that little kid. I don't know what happened between fifth grade. I, well, I was in America part of fifth grade and Germany part of fifth grade. So that transition period, bro, I went from coolest nigga, what? Hustler for life. Cause I had like, I was selling products and shit. Like me and my brother was like hustling. We was getting money as little kids, bro. I moved to Germany, bro. I ain't know nobody. I was trying to holler at girls. I started realizing I was getting fat. I was like, fuck, man, I'm getting fat. Nigga, what? <laughs> like, I just seen myself, like, going sideways, bro. Like, I was losing myself. And it's only because I just didn't want to leave America because I was getting so comfortable with being so cool. Like, if I had to grew up in America from fifth grade to high school, bro, I probably would be on some dumb shit right now, y'all. I probably wouldn't even be like, nah, I'm Lord Shoe X, nigga. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm Lord Shoe X, nigga. Fuck that shit. <laughs> and fuck that shit. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, it's Lord Shoe X. You just got done watching my latest episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I love everybody. Appreciate y'all watching these streams for real, for real, because I be getting my rocks off. No cap. Um,. Go to the website, shoelovesrebels.com. Follow your boy on Instagram, shoelovesrebels, LLC. Follow your boy on Facebook at the same name. If you want to know what my Twitter is, just get on my website. My Twitter's the first name is going to be Nimbus. I can't pronounce the last name because it's my brother's name. Y'all follow me and him on social media. See what we got going on because shit always going on with us. If you're fucking with the products and the slideshow next to my face, uh, all the jewelry 50% off, notebooks and books, everything for... Well, those aren't for sale, but she just dropped some new books. And y'all need to check that shit out because it's really good. So, 
She got a coloring book just came out. Got dope ass. Yo, the shit got imagery that's gonna heal you. While you coloring, you getting healed. And you looking at the motherfucking sacred geometry getting healed. Okay? So I'm gonna just leave it at that. Lord she wakes out. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> I'm out this bitch. Let me stop playing, bro. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. The real peace, not this bullshit. I'm out.